Hello, dear friends. The peace of the Lord be with you today and always. You know, I have a long list of questions to be answered when I get to heaven. One of them is, those two men that appeared to the disciples on the day Jesus ascended into heaven, were they Moses and Elijah? Another question is, were the two disciples to Emmaus, on the road to Emmaus, husband and wife? And another question is, did Jesus put his hand on Jairus' shoulders when those men came from Jairus' house and said, don't bother the teacher anymore, your daughter has died. This event in Jesus' ministry is recorded in Mark, the fifth chapter, and has a powerful message for us in our lives. With all the ups and downs we face, all the uncertainties we face every day, it is good to know that Jesus has power, loves us, and is in control. Listen to how Mark wrote this event. When Jesus had again crossed over by boat to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him while he was by the lake. Then one of the synagogue rulers named Jairus came there, seeing Jesus, he fell at Jesus' feet and said, My little daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. So Jesus went with him, but then he tarried a bit and talked to the people around him. While he was still speaking, some men came from Jairus' home and said to the ruler, Your daughter is dead. Why bother the teacher any longer? Ignoring what they had said, Jesus said to the synagogue ruler, Don't be afraid. Just believe. He did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they came to the home of the synagogue ruler, Jesus saw a commotion with people crying and wailing loudly. Those were professional criers, by the way. He went in and said to them, Why all this commotion and wailing? This child is not dead, but asleep. But they laughed at him. After he put them all out, he took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said, Talita kum, which means, little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately the girl stood up and walked around. She was 12 years old. At this they were completely astonished. He gave strict orders not to let anyone know about this and told them to give her something to eat. My dear friends, the day had certainly started in a high note for this father of the sick little girl because he heard that Jesus was in town. So he came and threw himself at Jesus' feet and pleaded, Come, heal my daughter. He didn't say, If you can. He just said, Come, heal my daughter. He knew that all things are possible with Jesus, who is God of God and light of light. And the day certainly took a deep, a deep dip. Jesus went with him to his house, and the day ended in a high note again. That's typical of those that walk with Jesus. We take our licks and our dips. We are drawn sometimes to the depth of the valleys of life. But with him, the day always ends in a high note. Ignoring what they had said, Jesus said to the Father, 
do not be afraid, just believe. And he did. One day I will know whether Jesus put his hand around Jairus' shoulders. But for now I have learned that if Jesus can help Jairus, he can certainly help me too. And you as well. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you. So long.